our first question is how long does it take to conduct one of those value studies that was mentioned earlier on in the presentation? I think it was by Joe. So uh, this is Todd Kozar with Oracle. That, that really depends on the organization. What we typically do is come in and we work with, with your team uh, on, the, on the business side and IT to go through um, an assessment with, with, the, uh, with your input. And with, with that, we, we are able to work collectively in determining, um, flushing out the value, the quantifying that value. So, you know, it can range anywhere from, um, it, it, you know, it, as an investment from Oracle, you know, anywhere from a, uh, three days to, you know, to two weeks. So, um, but it is an investment we're willing to make with our customers because we're, we've had such good success with this solution and uh, improving out and quantifying that value. Great. Thanks, Todd. Uh, next question is from Jesse. Uh, I think Mark touched on this a little bit with his NASCAR slide, but how many J.D. Edwards customers have successfully implemented out-of-the-box financial analytics? Well, I mean, from um, a J.D. Edwards perspective, I, I don't know a, a specific count, but it's in excess of uh, 15 customers, absolutely. Um, you know, what this, mar this product has been in the marketplace now for – over seven years, and we've got over 3,000 uh, implementations globally. Um, but that's it's the same technology, whether it's for for JD Edwards, PeopleSoft, or eBusiness Suite, or even SAP for that matter. So we have the integration into all of those environments from a pre-built perspective. So breaking it out from a to, to specific to JD Edwards, um, I don't have the exact count, but uh, it, it's uh, it's growing quickly. Uh, next question is from Paul. Paul asks, our IT department does not have experience with Informatica. Would we need to hire people with these skills? No, you wouldn't have to specifically hire Informatica expertise because it's already pre-written for you. So during the implementation, KPI can provide or supplement your team. Um, and if you have people that are familiar with ETL, uh, we also offer basic Informatica classes, and, you know, you have a wrapper around Informatica called uh, Data, Data Administration Act. Console to um, allow you to create execution plans to control Informatica. Now, that DAC, as we call it, uh, then is going to be the same control plan that you would use for the ODI version as well as Informatica. So no, you wouldn't have to go out and just hire Informatica skills. Thanks, Mark. How does ODI, how is ODI different from Informatica? ODI is a very similar technology to Informatica. I've seen people switch between the two relatively easy. And myself, I'm certified in Informatica. And when well, the first time I looked at ODI, I just opened it up and it was fairly intuitive um, because there's not a lot of difference. Um, but they are both, uh, you know, legitimate uh, ETL tools. Uh, Oracle has 12,000 man hours, has such an investment in the BI app. But long-term uh, Oracle strategy is to, once they get parity and continue to write more in ODI, to offer an ODI solution. The short answer is there's not a lot of difference between the two. Okay, uh, Jeffrey's got a question uh, regarding some of the refresh links that he's, he saw during your demo on the screen. Uh, he is curious yeah. on what those refresh links actually mean um, he's wondering if they actually go back to the data warehouse or back to JDE for data or is it just refreshing the web page uh, when it hit refresh it's like if I'm drilling in and drill down into a corner and down to line item detail and I want to refresh that dashboard page uh, it's just refreshing that data dashboard page against either the cache or the data warehouse you do have the capability, as we showed with the action link, of drilling 
directly back to JD Edwards transactional system if you want. Okay, this next question is from John. Uh, it's kind of a broad question on how is this product licensed? It's licensed um, a couple of different ways. We license it through either a named user environment. We can license it through an enterprise license agreement as well. So there's uh, there's flexibility depending on the, the, the size and scope of your rollout. Um, the nice thing about this solution is, is that with the named user, you can roll this out very cost effectively to a small set of users which has historically been cost prohibitive in a true sense of a of a data warehouse custom build approach because there's so much back office integration and development time that goes into building out a data warehouse that it becomes cost prohibitive for a small set of users this this solution really breaks that barrier and allows you to implement a solution um, for that small set of users at a very cost-effective way. Todd, that's a great point. I mean, you made the point about the licensing. However, the real value prop here is a lot of the JD Edwards customers that I've worked with in the past haven't been the Fortune 100. They've been, you know, a smaller or mid-tier market, um, you know, or emerging market customers which may or may not have millions to go out and invest in their own data warehouse, uh, and then millions to hire armies of ETL programmers. This is a great way for those customers, as you just pointed out, to buy into the solution and get all the value without having to make all the investment up front. Mark, how many BI applications were included in your demo? I showed two BI applications. I primarily focused on financials, but also showed uh, supply chain around order fulfillment and uh, order AR. So the two that, because of the lack of time, I only showed financials, which encompasses GL profitability and AR and AP. I showed within and briefly touched on supply chain, which covers inventory, bill of materials, order fulfillment, and order management. And can you combine data into one report from those various financial sources, for instance, AR and GL? Absolutely. That's the value. That's the real value because you're having one common information model. I have only actually had customers that have combined data from 14 different transactions, transactional systems into one report through the BI application. So this is based on an open best practice data model. The value of what, what Mark was saying is that not only can you cross applications in, in, with information in a single report, but you can literally start with just the financial application initially and then a year or two down the road implement the procurement and spend, for example, and not have it be a stovepipe solution. They're literally conformed and integrated together across those subject area data marts. So you're able to really start building and developing an enterprise data strategy um, with, without having a big bang approach. Uh, here's a question regarding uh, Informatica versus ODI. What is the roadmap for Oracle regarding uh, ODI versus Informatica? It's simple. It's it's basically they're they're both going to be supported in in parallel with one another throughout in in the future. Right now, it's supported with Informatica. Um, it's we actually OEM the product. We we support it. We we sell it. We support it, and it'll be that way going forward, but we're also going to offer our customers the option to go with ODI in the future um, when, when it, for customers that already are licensed on Oracle Data Integrator. 
Uh, we've got another question from Mary. Uh, her company uses Informatica, however, they've never used the DAC. What is needed to support DAC? Yeah, the DAC is actually, uh, uh, it's, a, it's basically software that Oracle wrote to help manage the Informatica product without being a developer, right? So it allows an administrator some tools that, that enable self-service administration without detailed uh, training and extensive training on the Informatica solution. So it is an Oracle component that, that's provided with the solution. You won't find it from Informatica. It's something that comes from Oracle. Maria wants to know, will the BI applications work with JD Edwards data that is on DB2? Yes. yes. And then Sandy asks, uh, we currently have business objects, but it is not integrated like you are showing using this product. What would be the, business, what would be the business case to switch from business objects to Oracle Business Intelligence? The business case would be lower cost of ownership, increased functionality. Uh, when you go to re-implement uh, J.D. Edwards or upgrade J.D. Edwards, you're going to have to re-implement and start from scratch all business object development. So everything you've done is sunk cost. And with this, you have predefined version certified adapters so that as I move from version of uh, J.D. Edwards to newer versions of J.D. Edwards, all I have to do is upgrade my adapters. Even And that goes even as far as Fusion. So if you were to migrate from JD Edwards to Fusion applications, all these BI applications are Fusion certified. So your investment is protected, not just today, but in the future. Um, I want to add to that too, that I'd encourage you to work with your account manager to go through that, that the benefit analysis so that you can help develop that, that justification and quantify the value that we can provide you. Correct. And also part of that justification is there are certain things that uh, the BIFs um, give you that you will never have with SAP, okay? So if you're using SAP's business objects, you'll never have that capability of putting reports uh, integrated seamlessly into JD Edwards. You'll never have action links uh, certified by Oracle to go back into JD Edwards. And you'll never have that sticky point of view or contextual awareness within J.D. Edwards to your reporting. Uh, we just had a quick comment that was added by Mary. Uh, Mary says, uh, we moved a huge implementation from business objects to OBIEE, and our business is very happy. <laughs> I love testimonials. <laughs> uh, question from Jesse. What is a typical... Uh, a typical amount of time for a full or intra full load and incremental load? Uh, that depends upon the customer, the data set, and uh, which uh, subject area we're going at to do a, uh, a full load or, or incremental, and also what hardware you're running on it. So there are many variables, but typically what we see most customers is have a window somewhere or their incremental load somewhere 30, 40 minutes at night to reload all the incremental uh, subject areas that they're using. Full loads, depending upon the hardware, can take anywhere from two to 14 hours, but typically you only do those uh, uh, when you're doing a major implementation. After that, it's incremental. Uh, Paul asks, do we need OBIEE to use the BI applications? The answer is yes. Uh, we do have some customers which have bought the BI apps uh, and they leverage the data warehouse and use whatever report writing tool they want on top of it. However, that's like um, buying a car and not getting the tires or uh, seat with it. Uh, you can do that, but remember um, OBIE is that journal and uh, the pages and pen, and the BI apps are the novel written on those pages. So uh, they go hand in hand. 
but you can to, to further that you can use other BI solutions against that data warehouse, the Oracle data warehouse. So it's an open industry data warehouse. Correct. How easy or difficult is it to scale slash customize BI to include multiple data sources? Uh, relatively easy. We do that in almost every single implementation. Um, you know, every single implementation that we've ever done, uh, no, you know, there was always some data somewhere else and some other source system that they wanted to combine with it. Masco was a real good example. We brought in JD Edwards. We brought in EBS and other source systems as well. Um, you know, uh, NYU Medical. We brought in their ERP system as well as industry standard Moody Benchmark, so that they could see where they're ranking against Moody Benchmarks. Um, we've had other customers that have brought in, uh, you know, 10, 12 ERP systems into one BI application. Uh, Maria asks a question on functionality. Can you drill down from the AR to the sales order level? Absolutely. And then, uh, could the OBIEE admin use the DAC, or is that usually done by the ETL team? That's an internal decision, but we've seen both scenarios uh, in real-life customer examples. Uh, do you guys have any insight into uh, the security for the iPad or these other mobile devices? Absolutely. The security for the mobile device is everything on a iPad or iPhone is automatically encrypted um, so that all information is truly encrypted when it's displayed. Uh, Oracle provides BI, uh, you know, uh, Oracle BI for the iPad and uh, iPhone. That is a true thin app. Okay, it does authentication, goes back to your single sign-on, authenticates you. It also clears the cache if you become inactive or if the screen locks so that there's no data for security purposes ever stored on the iPad. Okay, so it's rendering that, providing the drill capability, providing the action links, providing that slice and dice look and feel of all the dashboards, but because it's using your J.D. Edwards authentication, not only authentication, but authorization to what data you do see, it's only representing that within an encrypted transmission to an app that automatically clears the cache if the device becomes locked or times out to prevent any data from ever Escaping is the uh, technical term. Okay, I think we've got time for one more question. Uh, what is the average implementation timeline for JD Edwards Analytics? We can do, uh, you know, kind of a quick start in four to six weeks, or you can, based upon the customer requirements, you know, that, that may go, you know, uh, longer. Now, what we've seen is that Newstar, we did four BI applications in seven weeks. Um, at other customers that, uh, you know, we typically, as a rule of thumb, see 12 to 13 weeks for a BI app that addresses their specific business requirements and the dashboards are customized to be the reports that the individual end users want to see. But we could literally load your data and light up the dashboard with the out-of-the-box reports, but remember, if you show these reports to your end users, all 348 of them, they're going to love every one of them and say, this is great, but I need this category code added to it, or where's my logo, or I actually have that in a row and this in a column. Those reports are a template for you to start with. Great. Thanks, guys. Uh, anything to add before I close it out here? No. We wanted to thank everybody. This is uh, 
We've had uh, almost 20 minutes of questions. It shows a, a great interest in uh, the BI application specifically for uh, J.D. Edwards. So Oracle and KPI would like to continue these conversations and make ourselves available to you. This recording, uh, well, Jeremiah, I'll turn that over to you uh, for you to make the final closing statement. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, so that concludes the Q&A portion of the event. If you want to learn more about J.D. Edwards Analytics, please reach out to us through our website at kpipartners.com, and we will have a member of our customer care team assist you with any further questions you may have. Uh, remember to also take advantage of our unique training offer running through January 31st. All Oracle BI training courses are 50% off. Go to kpiuniversity.com. As mentioned earlier, if you want to find out more about KPI Partners or how we can assist your organization with Oracle Business Intelligence or Oracle EPM, please follow us on Twitter at KPI Partners or contact us through our website at kpipartners.com. Thank you to everyone for joining us on today's call, and thank you to our panel for presenting. Take care, everyone.